Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens have been trying to come to a long-term deal for two years now. And for two years, Lamar Jackson continues to play it up in the media. He continues to make things public that, yes, they're not offering me enough money. I'm not going to play for this little amount. And also, I'm not going to get on the field with an opportunity to win in the playoffs is on the line. And now the Baltimore Ravens are saying, you know what, Lamar, if you think you're worth this much money, if even though we're offering you 40, 45 maybe even $50 million guaranteed per year, and you still don't think that's enough, you're welcome to try the open market. So they put a non-exclusive franchise tag on Lamar Jackson, which means other teams can try to sign Lamar. Other teams can give him an offer, and if the Baltimore Ravens don't want to accept that offer, if they don't want to match that offer, then he's gone, albeit giving two first-round draft picks to the Baltimore Ravens. And now that he's available... It seems like not as many teams are interested in Lamar Jackson as he and some other people in the mainstream media would have expected. So now, predictably, they're trying to claim that something bad and nefarious is at play. It must be collusion. It must be because of his race. Because that's how everything has to go down in the mainstream sports media right now. These NFL teams don't want to acquire Lamar Jackson. And the reason why seems painfully obvious. And yeah, we even got an update just this afternoon. Report, the Patriots are not expected to pursue Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson. Teams that reportedly are out for Lamar so far, the Falcons, the Commanders, the Dolphins, the Panthers, and the Patriots with conflicting reports about the Raiders. Now, all of this is happening as a lot of those teams we just mentioned probably want a quarterback pretty badly. But when you look at Lamar Jackson, who had an MVP season in 2019, but has been, I don't want to say mediocre since then, but you look at his passer rating and it's below the league average. He's also been injured quite a bit in those games. I think played 12 games last year, 12 games the year before. And we saw maybe a hesitancy to come back when a lot of other people on the team felt he was healthy enough to go. You add all that into the fact that he doesn't have an agent, that he's doing negotiation himself, and he's made so much stuff public. He's played so much out on social media. Media. When the Baltimore Ravens have built this team around him, they've offered him what sounds to be very competitive numbers, and he's still not willing to sign. Well, now, here goes the media spin. Lamar Jackson is unanimous MVP, has led the NFL in passing touchdowns, is 26 years old, is 45 and 16 as a starter, and all the quarterback needy teams are saying they're not interested. Don't smell right to me from RG3. Richard Sherman, this Lamar Jackson situation needs more attention. Teens would rather lose or employ worse players than pay a former MVP in his prime. Could you imagine Burrow getting a non-exclusive tag and there being no interest? It's insane. Uh, so two former players who are now members of the mainstream sports media are, are pushing this narrative. Again, comparisons to a white quarterback. Des Bryant just straight up goes out and says it. I'm sorry, and I'm ready to accept all the shit talking that's going to come down when I'm about to say what I dislike heavy about the NFL. Whenever guys like Lamar Jackson and other black athletes perform past their contracts, it's always a problem with that and whenever it becomes time to be paid. Don't draft the player if the character is such a concern. Well, maybe when they moved up to draft him, they didn't realize that he'd be that hard to work with. Maybe there's a problem in the locker room. Maybe there's a problem with Lamar Jackson. Maybe they realize when they've had to replace Lamar Jackson a couple times that he's not as valuable as he seems to think. And please miss me, miss everybody with all the racism bullshit when it comes to paying black quarterbacks. Look at the top paid quarterbacks in terms of guaranteed money right now in the NFL. Deshaun Watson, Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson, followed by Aaron Rodgers. I think after that would probably be Patrick Mahomes, maybe Dak Prescott, very close behind them. A lot of black quarterbacks are the top paid athletes in the NFL right now. It's pathetic to think otherwise. However, when you do look at this number, when you look at those top three, Deshaun Watson, Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson, one thing in common is those teams are probably regretting giving that much money to those people. That Deshaun Watson contract fucked over a lot of people in the NFL because they're thinking you're insane to give the man $230 million guaranteed with all the problems he's been having. And maybe Lamar Jackson sees that contract and says, I want something like this. If I don't get at least that, then I'm not going to sign. While every other team in the NFL is thinking, why would anyone give you or anybody else that amount of money guaranteed for that type of situation? They're going to try to claim collusion. They're going to try to claim everything they can. The reality is maybe Lamar Jackson is expecting way too much. Maybe what he's done over the past two years with these rather bad faith negotiating tactics with not going out there on the field, with his teammates calling him out, maybe that's become a problem for some NFL teams and they'd rather go somewhere else. Maybe they don't have faith that Lamar Jackson can get it done. 
I'll, I'll give you a spoiler alert here. Winning MVP in the NFL is not automatically mean that you should get the biggest contract ever. Cam Newton won MVP, went to a Super Bowl. Uh, Matt Ryan won an MVP. You have these guys who, you know, have really incredible years, but it's not like they're the best player in the league from then on out just because you win an MVP. Lamar Jackson had a great season in 2019. He has followed it up with some not great seasons. That's just a reality. And for so many people in the mainstream sports media trying to push this narrative about, oh, it's just because Lamar Jackson, it's because he's a black quarterback or they've got it out for Lamar. Can you imagine this wouldn't happen with Joe Burrow? It's sad. It's pathetic. But that's what mainstream sports coverage is all about now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later.